I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade here on our YouTube page to give you the latest on what's happening in the tropics and it is very active out there. We have more tropical waves that are forming. We've got Hurricane Fiona, a major devastating Category 4 hurricane. Thank goodness it's going to stay away from the U.S., but we've also got Tropical Storm Gaston and multiple waves, so let's get right to it. I first want to talk about this wave. This one has us more concerned because the models, the majority of them at least, are bringing this into the Caribbean and strengthening this into a tropical system, maybe a tropical storm or a hurricane by this weekend, and then the models are taking it farther north, kind of shoving it into the eastern Gulf of Mexico, maybe by the middle of next week. So something to watch closely. Here's what we know at this point. It is just a tropical wave right now, so we don't have that solid area of low pressure developing just yet, but we do have that area of showers and thunderstorms. And notice the red area here. That means there's a high chance for this to develop into a tropical system. So there's about a 70% shot for that happening over the next 48 hours and a 90% chance for that happening over the next five days. So right now, a fairly disorganized band of showers and storms down there in the southern portion of the Atlantic, but it's getting closer closer to the Windward Islands and over the next few days it will likely make its trek into the Caribbean and then it will be over some very warm water and it will likely start to strengthen likely into tropical storm Hermine that would be the next on the list and then it could develop even further into a hurricane and make its way into the Gulf potentially by next week. So we are watching that one closely right now. It looks like it would likely be the eastern Gulf of Mexico potentially making a landfall somewhere near Florida but it's still several days out, so we've got to watch that one closely. Also want to show you that we do have more tropical waves developing. We've gotten just past the peak of hurricane season, but we still have some pretty warm waters out there and some action still developing. So we do have another tropical wave that's coming off of the coast of Africa. This one about a 30% shot for development over the next couple of days, 50% chance through the next five days. So we're gonna watch that one closely, but it's way out there. So we've got plenty of time to track that one. This one out in the central Atlantic, this is another wave, a slightly lower chance for development, a 20 to 30% shot for development in the next two to five days. But going back to that tropical wave that I showed you east of the Windward Islands in the South Atlantic, the one that could make it into the Gulf, well, look at this. These are the sea surface temperatures, and if that system does survive, and if it makes it into the Caribbean and eventually the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to have some very warm water to work with. And of course, when we're talking about sea surface temps in the middle 80s, that means rapid strengthening, rapid development could occur. There's gonna be a lack of wind shear, so so that is ideal for development for these tropical systems. So we're going to have to monitor it closely. Hopefully it stays away from us, but we don't want it to hit anywhere. But you will be the first to know if that system does develop further. Also want to give you an update on Fiona. This is still a massive and dangerous category four hurricane. It is getting closer to Bermuda. Fortunately, this is going to stay away from the US. Thank goodness, because this could do some damage. You can see the well-defined eye wall there, that center of circulation, those rain bands kind of circulating around it, and it is pushing off to the north, and it is going to get fairly close to Bermuda, but I think it stays just to the west of Bermuda, so good news there. This is the latest. As of the 4 p.m. advisory, we've got Fiona with maximum sustained winds around 130 miles per hour. So that still makes it a category four major hurricane and that movement to the north at nine miles per hour pressure right at 937 millibars. So still a very healthy and a very dangerous hurricane. Notice where it's headed by Thursday, 1 p.m., 140 mile per hour winds expected. So it's going to get a little bit stronger, most likely as it gets closer to Bermuda. Now at this point for you in Bermuda, we've got those tropical storm warnings and we did have a hurricane watch out. So that means there's a chance you could have some hurricane force winds, but there's a likelihood of tropical storm force winds as this system slides just to your west. After that, it's going to keep tracking off to the north and eventually it will likely make it up towards Canada, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia with some dangerous damaging wind possible with this. It will start to lose its tropical characteristics, but there's still going to be the chance for some wind gusts near 100 miles per hour, even 
when it reaches Newfoundland and Nova Scotia. So Fiona means business. Thank goodness it's staying away from the U.S., but it's something for us to watch as it is still a threat to Bermuda. All right, we've got another system. This is Tropical Storm Gaston. It's going to kind of just do a little loop in the central of the Atlantic. It's not really going anywhere fast anytime soon. Right now, 65 mile per hour winds. It's going to track off to the northeast. And then notice it kind of makes a loop here over the next several days. And then it will kind of lose its tropical characteristics as well. So we're not really that concerned about Gaston. But I did want to mention it to you because it is still another tropical storm churning out there in the Atlantic. So we've got a lot going on out there. We do have Gaston stone now we will likely have her mean in the next 24 to 48 hours that's the system that will likely push into the Caribbean and maybe into the Gulf of Mexico. So this hurricane season has not been the most active, but things are definitely heating up as of late. So we are just past the peak of hurricane season, but notice that we've still got some ways to go before we get to the end and we could still have additional systems developing. So of course we will keep you posted daily. We've got our daily tropical storm, tropical update, hurricane update for you around 4 p.m. You can always get that during hurricane season on our Fox 26 YouTube page. So make sure to have the Fox 26 weather app downloaded. You can get lots of useful, helpful information there. Weather locally, tropical update, and many other things. So check that out. Make sure you head to the App Store and download that if you haven't already. Also, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Ramesha Shade TV, Ramesha Shade Weather, and at Ramesha Shade. Have a great day.